Hello and welcome back to a new Power BI video. And I was asked whether I can talk about the difference between Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. So I thought about that and the best resource for that is really Microsoft itself. Because let's face it, Power BI is under constant development so things might change in the future. And they actually change all the time. So that is why I would highly recommend if you are interested in the exact differences then go to powerbimicrosoft.com and search for the pricing page because there you will find exactly the Pro, Power BI Pro itself and Power BI Premium and you can read about the differences there because you see there's a main difference between the pricing right we have ten dollars a month here per user or we have almost five thousand dollars per month for dedicated cloud capacity and this is the exact difference Power BI Pro is user-based. That means that everyone in your team who should work with Power BI and those who sh want to consume the reports you create with Power BI, all those people need to have Power BI Pro if you only use Pro. On the other hand, if you use Power BI Premium, then you basically rent capacity from Microsoft, which means that only the people in the organization which create the reports, those need a Power BI Pro account but for all the other ones in the organization, so for instance the management and these people who only consume your reports, so they see the results you have created. Those can be used with Power BI Premium and don't require any additional licensing. So they are included. And that is the difference here. So if you are on a per user basis, everybody needs Pro. But if you use Power BI Premium, that only the creators of the Power BI reports those who should work on the reports, those need to have a pro license. The other ones are referring under the premium and under this dedicated cloud capacity and they can use Power BI and consume reports without any additional cost. So it's up to you to decide whether it makes sense for your people on, in the organization that everybody has a pro account because let's face it if you have 500 people in the organization and everybody wants to consume your reports and use pro then you would have costs for around $5,000 a month. So it's actually the same as Power BI Premium. But if you are in a large corporate, in a really big organization, and only a few people, for instance, I don't know, 50 people need to create reports and use a pro license, so that means 50 times 10, around $500 a month, but then maybe 10,000 people consume the reports, then Power BI Premium would be a good feature, a good way to go. Even though also, there are different kinds of capacities you can rent. So, from smaller ones to really bigger ones. So, you can stay, scale that up if you need. And the great thing on this page is also this compare features option. Because not only there's a difference between what the pro user can do and what someone who only uses premium can do without a pro license, there's also a difference in the features which are available for both versions. And if you want to read more about them, simply scroll down on this page. And there you see exactly the differences up there. So you can see here, as we talked about, Power BI Pro is user-based licensing. So each user needs to have this license. Power BI Premium, on the other hand, is capacity-based, which means you're renting basically cloud resources. And uh, then you can read something else about deployment administration. So all this is structured. Here's licensing, here's deployment, and you can also read about this here. So important differences here, for instance, is uh, that option here, the maximum size of an individual data set. So this, for instance, for Power BI Pro is one gigabyte, but for Power BI Premium, it would be 10 gigabytes. So if you're dealing with large data sets, also keep this in mind, that for instance here, Power BI Premium would be the only way to go if you have these big, big data sets, because there's a sm much smaller limit on the Pro account. Also the storage here, the next one, as you can see here, is 10 gigabyte per user if you have a pro account but it's one to 100 um, terabyte per user or actually not per user but 100 terabyte if you use Power BI Premium also difference. Here another difference is this one here so the refresh per day with Power BI Pro you are limited to 8 refreshes per day so if you have a data set you publish your report to the cloud and then you say I want to schedule a refresh so I want to see my data the newest data 8 times a day that's possible but if you say I need more often refreshes, so for instance a refresh every hour, which me would mean at least 24 refreshes, this is not possible with a pro account. You would have to need uh, to buy Power BI Premium for that, because this would allow you to actually 
each half an hour you could refresh the data. Also a difference. So uh, there's not only the difference between that the Pro is user-based and Premium is uh, capacity-based, there are also some features which are only available for Premium, as well as bigger capacities for Premium. That is, of course, in Microsoft's interest because they want to, of course, sell Premium to the organizations. And uh, as I said, just go through that, take a look. Um, if you see dots on both ends, that's good. Then there is not really a difference. But if you see here, for instance, if you either read here or see different kinds of options here, which is much more, you feel, find a lot more options here on a cloud. Something I'd like to mention here, between this option and this option, you can see here, this is not uh, enabled here, so publish reports to be shared. This is something you need to have a pro account for. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you buy Power BI Premium, you still need some users, at least one user, to have a pro account, to create the reports, to publish the reports, and so on. The consuming itself, this is under Power BI Premium license. But the creation and the sharing option and working actually with the reports, this is on the pro license. Okay, so keep this in mind. And you can scroll up further. You can see here information about deployment, data preparation options here. So this is one important aspect if you want to use the AI features. You can see here auto machine learning, cognitive services, Azure machine learning, and all these things. These are restricted. So you find them if you open Power BI. You find a lot of these options in the Power Query Editor, for instance, but you can't use them if you only have a Pro account. You're limited, you can't use them, you're restricted, and if you have Power BI Premium, then you can use those services. Okay, Also a difference in here, if this is important to you. For the other ones, you can see there is no real difference. So um, the data preparation itself and so on is exactly the same. Power BI itself, the, the tool you use on your desktop, is exactly the same tool. There's no difference. And here, paginated reports is also a premium feature. So if this is something you have used uh, in the past, or you want to use this in Power BI, then the paginated reports itself is also a premium feature. It's not available for the Pro. But for the other ones, you scroll down, you see exactly the same here, right? So that's it, actually. That is the main difference, or the main differences between Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. So, as I said at the beginning, you need to decide for yourself, for your organization, whether you need or whether it makes sense to buy premium. So, if you need these additional features or bigger data sets and these kinds of options, then premium would be the only way to go. If this is not the case, then you can go with a pro account. And as far as I know, currently Power BI is also experiencing with a premium per user, which means it offers the options from premium, but is licensed on a user basis. So currently it's not uh, completely out, so you don't find it here, but in the future this probably also will be available. And if, if that's the case, then of course you find more information on this page as well. So again, Power BI is changing frequently, so it makes sense if you're interested in that. Um, also always go back to the site and there might add, be added additional features in the future, so you can look them up and figure out uh, whether that makes sense and whether that's important to you. Okay? So, as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, best of guys.